So. And yeah, then I do the system save again. This one passes. Nope, and... that's a fail. What? My save check is a uh, 13. So is this a check or a save? I'm sorry, save. My sa my save target is 13. Isn't that my goon is wrong? Oh, then. Uh... Okay. I said, am uh, I doing this wrong? I'm questioning myself now that we're doing this. Okay, then Chopra takes three more damage. And they're doing their uh, thing again. This one is allowed to attack Cobra. Yep, no, and I'm right. It... Okay. I just wanted to double huh? check. So, no, I, we were going through this, and I was worried that I was wrong, that I was doing this wrong. And it says the number a character must match or beat to successfully pass a save forced by your mech, which is what we're doing. Just wanted to make yeah. sure I was right. So, yeah. That's the importance between the difference between safe and check because check. Uh, yeah, check is what you're doing versus a save is what's being afflicted. Yeah. And yeah. my save but, check is a 13, so. But now Cobra takes uh, three more armor piercing damage. Cobra or and Jobra? Cobra. Okay. This one passed the save. It's Cobra. Oh, where did this guy come from? Uh, I'm putting it there so that uh, I'm keeping track of walk on. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, uh, uh, uh. how long are they shredded? Till your next turn or till till they the start are of next my turn? next turn? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then, player's turn again. All right. Uh, does either Cobra or Torling want to take an aggressive action? I can take a defensive action. Cobra. Yeah. My range is only three. Uh, that means you could still move up if you really wanted to. I like myself right where I am for now. Uh, right where you are is where they can attack you and where we're not attacking anything. True. And I need you guys to attack so I can take extra attacks. <laughs> I literally will I not move. be attacking ever, so... Who's getting into melee range and attacking in my heavy? All right, so they are still shredded, and there's lock on that you can use. So how do I add that in? Uh, that would be a uh an accuracy. Would you use up the lock? Yeah, it, it, it. Yeah, you have to say if you use the lock on before you attack. Okay, sorry, but well, there is one thing I need to look at. Yeah, but uh, you hit anyway, and because of this stupid shredded thing, you uh, wound quite a lot of them. So, and... And I pick one up. Uh, no, you know, that's uh, infantry squads. Infantry squads are immune against grapple and run. Oh, damn. Makes a bit of sense. Yeah. Uh, after he attacks uh, my technician three, I will go ahead and as a reaction, attack the same target. Okay. And I'm attacking with my LMGs, which are an uh, auxiliary auxiliary mount, so that is going to be two weapons. Okay. So first hit and second. Okay, you managed to eliminate the squad. But you attacked and then you are visible again, right? That is correct. After I use reaction or move, I am now visible. You know, I was just looking it all up. 
That's literally the one time I could have attacked. <laughs> My weapon only it's fires okay. when somebody consumes a lock -off. Right, that's exactly the scenario I was trying to help set up for you. But we can set it up again next turn. Or yes. as soon as I take an action, so don't worry too much. Yeah. One, two. No, uh, let, let me measure distances first. Oh, yeah, you're in range to this middle group and mm -hmm. this one. Uh, wrong. No, no, this one and this one takes a full shot at uh, you, Tristan. You're, okay. uh, they don't like your LMGs. I can understand why. Uh, There's a lot of them. Well. And three of them hit, that's six damage. And the guy with the heavy weapon attacks, uh, shoots it at Cobra. That's three damage from armor. Are they damage. in range of Jobra? Sensor range? Uh, you are absolutely right, they are. So I'm going to and, six damage. Yeah, okay, they attack Chopra, and then Chopra takes three more damage. So I guess Chopra is close to out. He's close to dead, but not dead. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, you again. I also almost forgot that Chopra was in Cobra. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> for the Torling, what is the range on your uh, reaction weapon? 10? 15. 15? Okay, so that should cover literally everyone. Yeah, the turret um, is a 10. So this uh, rightmost group hasn't gone yet, so I'm going to make that my target for a lock-on, which will also shred them. Uh, that's one quick action. And the second quick action is going to be to fire on them. Okay. Uh, I will go ahead and consume the lock-on, which I think only applies to one of the auxiliary weapons. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and roll and then add the d6 manually for basically nothing. Uh, and um, then a hit for three. Um, yeah, which of your system gives you this shredded thing? Uh, that would be my uh, trait, prophetic scanners. I can go ahead and copy yeah. that. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, and to follow that up, the Torling could have its turret attack, and it could also use its reaction. Well, a question here is that my turret is range 10, and that puts the first row of that... Yeah, does that count? Yes, it counts. Okay, well then they take 3 damage from the turret. So... Let me just look uh, something up. And then my reaction is the autopod. Which is a miss. Because even though it's seeking, 4 never hits anything. Okay, so how much damage is that in thumb? 3. 3 total. The autopod misses, but the turrets okay. don't. Okay. Uh, yeah, so three for me, three for the turret, six total. Uh, uh, three from you? Yeah, when when I did my attack. Huh? But but but. I... Oh yeah yeah okay you. Yeah, did. I'm I'm just talking about initially. Uh, yeah. and I'm also going to go ahead and uh. Chat give didn't score. The leadership for... and go just keep on attacking. So, Cobra, you now have uh, an extra leadership die. And I can use it for accuracy? Correct. Excellent. So, this, uh, uh, uh. uh, and I guess because I didn't move again, uh, I'm invisible again. Then, this, uh, uh, uh. Middle group here takes. Mm, what do they do? What do they do? I guess uh, 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 they fire at uh, uh, Chopra, Cobra, 
I'll do that one first. And uh, they have to fire at a uh, Chobra. Chobra. And cause. Uh, do they have any reliable damage? No, they don't. Okay. I was saying, just Chobra has a one hit point. A hull point. Yes, but I think the. That's a hit. Uh, but if they have several attacks, then after the first attack, they can then switch to the real target, right? Well, I mean, they just hit, so it's dead. Yeah. Then... Do the armor uh, piercing... 8 isn't hit, so 3 armor piercing damage for Cobra. 3? Yeah, 3. Alright, I uh, go down to negative 1, so let's see what my... HP is the same as 15, so I go down to... Whoa, what happened to the... And, and one structure damage. So then make your structure check. Did they shoot, oh, uh, they shoot him and back up? Is that what happened? Yeah, they shoot him and back up. And... He's impaired. Okay. That's uh, nice for them. Uh, also, while they are backing up, uh, they, some of them are carrying impaired uh, uh, squad members from the other squad, so they don't want to leave anybody behind. All right. My turn, right? Oh, all Cobras, it's your choice. Yeah. No, Cobra already went. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. I... I'm literally the last person left. All right, quick action. Uh, horror system upgrade 2. This time I'm constructing an Eidolon of a size 3 version of Cobra in front of him. Since I have a range of 20. Could you paste what it does for me? I will, just as soon as I'm finished making him. Call this one Brobra. I was literally already thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Alright. Construct idle on. I'm trying not to copy false idle again in this one. Here we go. It's a Cobra, but it's size 3 instead of size 1 like Cobra is. It's just something he can use as a hard cover himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Alright, that was a quick action. Bum, 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 bum. You know what? Ah, I can't really do that. It's in the same action twice. Uh, I will deploy another turret. Here behind Cobra, so that it has a uh, hard cover itself, and then I'm gonna um, take one heat for overcharge. As I do the same action twice. In this case, I'm going to construct a false idol of Cobra. Copy the wrong thing. And I'm going to put it next to... Actually, I'm going to put it behind him. So that it has hard cover. Oh, and I guess just to reference, for size 3, it would be taking up, like, a 2 hex radius. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Yeah. Just figure I'd remind you. Actually, size 3 would be 3 hex radius. So, yeah, Broba giving Cobra hard cover, who is then giving Jobra hard cover. <laughs> and that means that everyone who has to target Jobra is then going to be taking negative modifiers. Yeah, it depends on angle, I guess. I you can't rename can... him after I've already called him Jobra. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the left group basically can attack Cobra, Jobra, whatever, uh, without uh, uh, him being in cover because they're shooting from the right side. And the left group is uh, shooting so, and they fail so 
I think they have a task to take. It out. That's one hit, one miss, one miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are. So two damage. Two damage. Two damage. Two damage. It was one of the light weapons. And they are also retreating. This wounded right group. They uh, 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 take a pot shot at a uh, Tristan. Okay. And uh, Tristan is invisible, so that's fifty percent chance. Yeah, and I guess uh, two is high one hits, so okay. they are allowed to shot shoot. And 15 hits, I guess, so they, they do two damage. Okay, two more damage. And one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. They are uh, in full retreat using the boost action to run, and the ones from this squad, because they are wounded, but the uh, unwounded of the squad also carry their wounded uh, comrades. And now I think only this group can shoot because they didn't do anything here in the middle. Right? Yeah, right. And Let's construct how much cover they would get. Um, hmm. I think they also take a pot shot at uh, 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 Tristan. I'm down one HP, just put me at four. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, going to be another hit. Team damage? No, no, no. That's if they uh, your invisibility check. If they're allowed to shoot. Oh right, right. Now, now they have to actually try hitting them. Is is an eight and hit? A miss. And they're all they're basically in full retreat. Sorry, Clover. Did you say you had one HP? I was down one HP. Oh, you were down one HP. Sorry, I was trying to correct yeah. a mistake I made, because when I was copying <laughs> your token, uh, it was still set to all three of them had yours, so when I was adjusting their HP, I was adjusting your HP at the same time. So I was trying to correct you back to what you were, and I thought you were at full HP. Okay. Well, it still changed bro, bro. down one, unless you got hit. Well, it doesn't matter, bro. Uh, bro, bro has zero HP, he's just an immortal creature. Whatever his HP shows at, it doesn't matter. His damage is neg anything shooting at him. The damage is completely negated. <laughs> so, uh, 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 do you guys uh, let uh, them escape, or do you want to shoot them all down while they're trying to basically just run? Uh while they were retreating. Uh, I'd like to do one more scan for secret information that they might have. <laughs> information about target, like caches that is carrying current mission, pilot ID, etc. Okay, things like uh, their next target, or their chain of command, or their goals. Those would be good okay. things. Uh, which page is it? Uh, it is on page 106. Da, 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 da. And if it's just one of the following, there's three of us. All three of us okay. could ask one. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm. When I'm reading this, I'm wondering if I, uh, uh, if I can choose one secret information, or if you have, uh, have to ask basically for the category of secret information. 
That's a good I mean, question. The way I read it is that you're choosing one of the categories and get all of it in there. Because, like, if I asked for the statistics, I'd get their HP, speed, evasion, armor, yeah. A's, etc. Yeah, yeah, but in the second one, it's, it's uh, worded such as. And in the first one, it's worded full statistics. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's... Uh... Like I said, though, this is something all three mechs can do. Yeah. So let's split it up. I'll go ahead and go for one question then, just to make it easy. Uh, I'm going to ask what their uh, list of top targets are. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it uh, uh, will come uh, out uh, eventually. Most, if you all three ask, their uh, uh, most hidden secret is uh, they are humans in insectoid armor. <laughs> <laughs> which you find out while you're scanning because they don't shoot you to death you can keep on carrying it around and gee they sure do have hidden anatom human anatomy on these scans huh so weird well for my question I want pilot ID yeah they I specifically want one individual's information social security number Blood type, <laughs> name, everything. I want that pilot's ID. Uh, 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 uh. They don't use social security numbers, and right, but, uh, but I would get whatever the equivalent is. Yeah, his uh, name is. <laughs> so he's Jewish. <laughs> we call him a Huck for short. <laughs> That's uh, 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 very insensitive. Which thing? Giving him his a new name or assuming his religion. <laughs> uh, uh, both, I guess. He could be Muslim. Yeah, I don't think with a name it's like that. It's been through a few space conversions in the 31st century here. A very Yiddish name like that, I don't <laughs> think he's going to be Muslim. <laughs> Again, assuming religion. But yeah, no, I just want his information that way. If I have anything I can want to do with it later, I have yeah. it. Okay. Cobra. Yes. Do you also want to scan? I don't have any marks in the system. Doesn't matter. Scan is just an action. All right. So the, I'll do that. Yeah, then uh, the page is on 107, the PDF page of 106, the lower number on the right. But, uh, what was the page number again? 106. You can pick one of these questions. So. Yeah, just as a reminder, I have hack at plus six. So if I ever find their computer systems, <laughs> I've got this guy's information. <laughs> have any of them had military combat training? Yes, clearly. They are, uh, 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 they call themselves Rangers and they have uh, training and also actual combat experience. I mean, they yes. just recently attacked, but you're pretty sure they have combat experience prior to uh, the attacks. Yes, they move with a strategic purpose. We should expect them to try to get us out of our mechs. Um, could you speak up? I'm sorry, we should try to expect them to get us out of our necks at some point, or at least try to. Yeah. At this point, I think uh, uh, Zero is going to look at his uh, carryable Prudence AI and go, well, well, did you take a look at all this? Prudence. Not aliens after all. Do you mean patience? Patience, right. <laughs> oh, you simple normies. Not understanding NHPs and their names. Right, so patience then. It's like, well, you see all this? Not aliens after all. They're just regular colonists. Rangers, yeah, it's, apparently. It's uh, nodding while it's uh, sending all the information to its mainframe. Mm -hmm. Your mini copy isn't really f as potent as the uh, one in the main building. So it just nods. Of course. Which, by the way, is 
pertinent information for you to keep in mind for Yvenel. Yvenel is a copy of itself. It was a cascade. And the original core of Yvenel was destroyed a long time ago. So mine is much like Patience. Yeah. Or prudence, I... if you'd like to call it that. But uh, actually, mine is a lot I like think Patience. Was the name of the last one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, on the other planet. Yeah, that's two, why I'm getting confused. Two planets ago, in fact. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, actually, mine is like that if it was allowed to grow, since mine is three tiers into Technophile. Just something for you to keep in mind, since you're always trying to figure out how to think of these things. So, yeah. I think at this point, uh, Zero might try to rally up some local farmers to help clean up the bodies out of the field, so that we can kind of collect and see who they are, if they have further identification. Well, they carried them and with them. And, of course, them. confiscate, like, their stuff. He specifically said they carried them with them, which makes sense, because they didn't want, they wanted to hide the fact that they were human. Oh, okay. So, so there are none left then. That's good then. Yeah. We don't have to do anything. Ah, uh, but we did get what we wanted anyway. And you did identify at least one of them. So yes. we could start trying to track them down from there. The very infamous. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got all of his information, even though I could already assume which way he would like to be buried. <laughs> Yeah, pointing to Jerusalem might get a bit hard on a planet like this, but... Yes, the constant movement of the spheres. We have no way which direction we face when we pray to Mecca. Yeah. I'm looking at this guy's information, and apparently he stays on the internet here on this planet for at least 90 minutes a day. This guy's <laughs> life is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think uh, he has internet access. Okay, you uh, you uh, managed to uh, scare the, after all, not so Agrigorian, Agrigorians uh, away. Uh, you are standing on the field with in it. some with smoke in it and uh, some uh, marks of a battle left. I mean, there's a little bit of blood uh, uh, there, muddy, uh, mixed with the very muddy ground. You have new information, so mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Uh, I want to I think sip the Mai Tai, because I was never there. <laughs> my, mech can, my, AI, my NHP can control the mech itself with all of my talents and everything. I was still back at base, baby. <laughs> I was drinking drinks. Good. Well, you can start the investigation while you're already there. We probably need to retreat and repair. Uh, and I guess before I go, I will go ahead and uh, tell the local farmers to uh, not be afraid. They aren't aliens after all. They're all uh, Be not afraid, simple-minded peasants. <laughs> you... We need only be vigilant against them like this, and we can defeat them time and again. <laughs> okay. Um, while Les was uh, sitting at the bottom of the wall, they have a mini printer which can print any drink in the galaxy, and some tastes might be a little bit off, so if you never drunk a uh, Mai Tai before, it tastes like a Mai Tai. And tastes uh, the Pan Galactic Gargle Blaster, though, is pretty on point. I don't like bricks. Oh. Yeah, it's not quite enough lemon smashed into it. Yeah. No. Let me get... Uh, Long Island iced tea. Irish coffee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought we were just naming oh. stuff. <laughs> it's uh, very fine because... Uh, uh, you were... Uh, Basically, uh, saying stuff that sounds like uh, uh, downtime actions. So, uh, did you ever figure out like, what we're gonna do about raw? Hmm. My downtime action from last time. You yeah. said you had oh, to read yeah. up on it, so we never really figured yeah. out what we were gonna do. Yeah, I was a little bit strapped for time this week. 
you will know next week what you figured out. And I know what's uh, now, but the right now when you said raw, I under understood like uh, rules as written and stuff. What? Okay, no, you mean the god raw. Well, raw. I mean yeah. the uh, the original Metist, uh, Mestero yeah. that transported the entire moon of Damios away from Mars and then held the Union at basically gunpoint. Asteroid so, yeah. point. I think it's completely capitalized. R-A, complete caps. Complete. Excuse me for my insolence. Yeah, I want to figure out like what kind of friend I got on that um, so, by the but... end. But uh, uh, do you want uh, to go ahead and roll your new downtime actions on this planet? Focus on stuff you can put on this planet right now because you're that would getting be a good a... idea. Yeah, uh, I got a general idea that I could uh, start pushing propaganda. These are clearly nothing but bandits and murderers in disguise. Seeking to take all that you have, and we must all stand together against them and provide them no assistance and ferret them out where we can. <laughs> we will find them. Uh, yeah. Then. And that would probably be something in the terms of lead or inspire, I think, right? Yes. Yeah. I'll just give that a roll and see what I get. Would it be cool if, as my downtime activity, uh, Vincent decided to teach as many of the locals as he could outdoor survival techniques in case they came and tried to raid their living space? They could escape and not be killed. Yeah. There is a, a, a new downtime action in the No Room for a Wallflower book, which is called Training. Which sounds exactly like what you want to do. All right, so uh, should I roll survival? Yeah, if you want to do survival and have no. Okay, then. Uh, no. Why is this spread over all this box? Okay. Da -da -da. Um, and for reference, while you're reading that, uh, I've spent one repair point to go back to full HP. You, uh, uh, your action was probably uh, a get organized, right? Uh, zero? Uh, yeah, that sounds right. So then. I'm scrolling up there too, just to look. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, may, maybe it's just. No, it's not so good. It's probably oh, there's no really fitting uh, action for who you did. It's probably better called uh, uh, get connected. So. Uh, yeah, since I guess the point of the propaganda campaign is to have the citizens start ferreting out uh, these uh, bandit rebels here. Uh, so on a nine, uh, I could get a favor or make a good promise for connection right now. Yeah, uh, yeah if I help them right now, uh, otherwise they won't help me at all. Yeah. So yeah, I rule because you really can't help them right now. Uh, they kind of ignore you and. I mean, they could still make a don't... demand of me if they wanted. Yeah. It would just end up being off-putting for the mission, so yeah. you could take some time and think about that one if you wanted. Mine is also no, going to be a thinker. I just take the easy route and say they you don't get any help out of them right now, and fair enough. So but now they know the truth. Yeah, <laughs> and they still feel pretty damn threatened. Training. A ten. Um, it's da, 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 da. Uh, uh, da, da. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I uh, da, da. Uh, 
okay, I'll uh, say you just get a second one without choosing if a minor attack would uh, result in uh, an NPC dying if it's instead only wounded and can be rescued. Yeah, okay. because that's what you wanted to achieve. Yes, saving lives is mandatory here. Yeah. Okay, I'll note that down. Uh, Lesser. I would three. like to take the power at a cost downtime action. Okay. So this planet seems to use an NHP called Patience, right? Okay. Yep. And what you typically do to NHPs is that when they start to become more powerful, more independent in their thinking, you roll them back, you erase their memories, and you put them to a default state. That's not cool, man. That's just not cool. I want to get be a, use power at a cost to make a ally of patience by reinstating all of those erased memories. But then they can't clear their body thetans. Well, the risk there is that an NHP will become unshackled and become a true AI. That's the risk everybody doesn't want to uh, endanger. At the same time, though, I am a proponent for freedom of thought, so... Uh, power at a cost is page 84, by the way, of the PDF, because there is... The thing is that I always achieve what I want, but the GM chooses uh, one or two of the following details, which are risky. Uh, okay. Let me just check if... So basically, I want to empower patients and uh, create, uh, make an a ally of them. Okay, now there's uh, no uh, special version of this downtime action uh, in the Wallflower book, because for some downtime actions there are adapted versions. Right, this is literally the most basic of the downtime actions yeah. that I've chosen to do. Yeah. Uh, Griff would be more uh, familiar with this, because this is basically what like rolling a 7 through 9 on a Powered by the Apocalypse game would be. Yeah. I've chosen to do something, it happens, but something wild may happen. You're unpredictable. No, rather. I mean, like, yeah, one of them is like... Yeah, one of them is like, hey, succeed. it's going to involve going wildly off the planet. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is basically okay. the NHP Freedom Forever movement. Okay, then uh, 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 I'll choose the. Uh, it uh, takes you longer than you uh, thought, and you can't exactly get what you want, just approximately a lesser version. So, yeah, you take one step into helping it to freedom, but it's uh, uh, not enough if you want to really set patients free. You have to do this again. Oh, no, honestly, I, that's not what I'm saying. I didn't say I wanted to unshackle patients. I said I yep. wanted to, uh, you know, how, like when you delete something and it's gone oh, yeah. from your uh, recycle bin and you have to go into like deep settings to return everything. I'm saying every time that they've reset patients, I want to get all those memories back so patients can remember what they've done to her, them. Okay, yeah, then you restore just some memories and not all of them. Does that sound about right for you? To uh, also gain their trust and gain them as an ally. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, for some very hacky reasons, uh, patients likes you a little bit more than the other one. So you can. I will note it down that. Uh, Got patience as an ally. Ally. English is hard sometimes. I'm trying to find the quote because Ra specifically talks about this. Yeah, there's Ra quotes in the book too. So, uh, as a second, let me uh, just note this down. It's deep diving into that lore, huh? Well, yeah. I, I know what planet I'm from, do you?
<laughs> I know the history of my planet, the troubles and tri tribulations. The Union it's attacked us. Planet two. It has uh, air and uh, so it, water. The Union attacked yeah. us, and we fought it with bones and, and swords. Yeah. We're literally the backwards world. Yeah, so because you get a lesser version, you gain like the lesser ally. It's not specific in the book, but in some regards, it's allied to you. In some regards, it's still more focused on its main motivations. Okay, that's your downtime actions. You can, I assume you got uh, back to Evergreen? Yep, go back to Evergreen and start doing some repairs. Yeah, because you will have time. Uh, you can do full repair, uh, repair and recharge all your repairs and your core systems. Oh, okay. Yeah, because the mission definition is very strange on this mission because it will take you a while. Well, I not. Okay. So then I just get back that one repair. Yay, didn't have to even use anything, but I get it all back. <laughs> And I mean, you got new information and got uh, days to do stuff in which you could mm -hmm. do stuff. So now we just need to wait for them to uh, pull out a giant alien robot. Yes. <laughs> or have yeah. the real aliens appear. The, the real aliens. You sure there are real aliens left, Leonard? Nah, uh, aliens have always been a government conspiracy. They don't actually exist. Yeah, but your history lesson says uh, they existed. Uh, and who wrote that, huh? The government. Oh, they're still lying to us. <laughs> there are never aliens. <laughs> but uh, they bombed the bad planet. Uh, it was done on a soundstage on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so next time we'll we'll see if there are real aliens, if there are more bandits, and what we're going to do about them. Okay, yeah. so this was fun. Nice little quick battle. And got to use our new stuff. Uh, we definitely need someone who has a, uh, ranged weapon, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have printer access, and you have some, probably some days till the next attack, if you mm. translate. Technically, I do shoot at range 15, I just need somebody consuming lock-ons. Exactly, and, but if Cobra is, like, purely melee and he has to get there first, we're gonna be well, waiting for a Well, the bit. idea is that we can hide behind Cobra, because he provides, uh, so hard cover. If I'm behind him, where I put, like, a bunch of turrets behind him, then suddenly I'm shooting at 15, every turret gets a shot. Could I react to your reaction? How? I uh, could change my loadout. Yeah, then go ahead. Right, and I'm thinking that. maybe I'll get a mortar or something. I don't know. But, um, rank 3 tactician here is what I'm talking about. So, when a target not in cover is attacked by an allied mech, you attack as a reaction when I attack. Yeah. So yeah, you're... I'll attack, you'll attack, and then I'll attack again. Yeah, because technically the um, the attack, the reaction is an attack, so it's still an attack. Mm-hmm. So that would, so without anyone like say our sniper around, uh, I would end up having to be the lead, I think. And I think. I demonstrated it can work out pretty well if I just lock on and then fire and then you fire and then I fire again and, and then, then the turrets I fire reactions. <laughs> well, I think you fire. only the, no. The problem there is that you only get one reaction a turn. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I'm you don't you wouldn't out. get three reactions. You would get one reaction. Uh, let Arcloid speak, please. No, Arcloid, never. Never. Damn it. Well, I'm thinking. A howitzer would make me become a basically an emplaced bunker. Do uh, remember, uh, does howitzer have inaccurate? Uh, it does. It also has blast too. 
Yeah, but I'm saying the inaccurate would be the, the D6 uh, negative modifier to that roll. Yeah. So if you miss, you don't hit anything. It doesn't matter what blast it is. Right. Yeah, just, sorry, there's um, to, uh... one of the streams I watch, one of those guys uses a howitzer all the time, and I don't think after 15 sessions he's ever hit anything. <laughs> well, fortunately you have me giving you lock-on, and I can also give critical hits out, too. Well, I could just take a heavy machine gun and have a lower range. Yeah, I've got that uh, spotter thing where if I'm standing next to you, you can roll twice. But I'm never yeah, next to anybody because our grand leader always says, run away. Run away from us. <laughs> Don't provide us well, cover. <laughs> run away. Well, he was basically a melee mech. I wanted to make sure he could do damage. But, oh. uh, if you do that and you two just kind of bunker up and I just do my thing being invisible, then... Yeah, I mean, this could, that could work out pretty well. Yeah, Eidolon and um, False Idol really worked a lot better than I thought they yeah. would. I guess just between the three of us, we need to make sure we keep our options open and don't keep, like, missing these gaps that we keep end up, up unprepared for. I thought we did perfect today. I don't know what gaps you're talking about. <laughs> Joe Bro and Broba oh. worked fine. Yeah. Uh, still, yeah, I think we did well. Alright, I think I'm good. I enjoyed the session. Hmm? No, uh, I, if you want to do anything, you have the chance. Otherwise, I uh, simply pass forward to the next attack whenever and wherever it is. Okay. I think the, yeah, following the attacks and following that one person who got the info on, I think that's going to be your plan next time. Yeah, you, what? I didn't understand. Could you repeat? Uh, following where they're going to attack next, and the one person we decided to uh, get info on, yeah. sounds like our plan for next time. What, what do you mean next time? Oh, I thought we were ending here. No, 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 no. I said I trust waiting for you to say whatever you want to do. We still oh, got okay. two I mean, hours left, like, and so if <laughs> you don't want the whole talk, and I'm just like, oh, okay, we're winding up, then aren't we? Yeah, no, I don't know. No. I just assumed I didn't hear something. <laughs> It's like, no, okay, no, no. <laughs> off to the roof. No, no, so it's, we the still got some left. <laughs> <laughs> and I want, I, uh, now your eye for declare actions, what you do the days, because, yeah, it gets night, you repair all your stuff, and then the next, uh, you re, uh, uh, Lesser did his uh, hacking thing, you didn't notice because you were away. Also, I'm uh, probably invisible while I did it. Yeah, and uh, uh, Vincent, uh, sorry, uh, Cobra trained some uh, locals to survive the following days so then they can run and hide. Uh, you tried right. to gain support and failed, and yeah, you still have, you're now just basically waiting. You could do something out of your own accord or wait for the next attack. Right, choice. so Lesser, you have the information. You can try following up on the lead that you have. What, to see if <sighs> lives here on base or something? Yeah, see where he's from, where he's gone, what further information we can get. Maybe we could identify where their base is or where they're going to go next. Oh, you. Uh, Universe says you could talk to patients about. What he knows. Yeah, I still not... got like patience under arm here. It's like, hey, patience. So, what do you think about all this? Yeah. It seemed like you were still uh, calculating it for a while there. Like you had a whole lot of stuff on your mind suddenly. Yes. I mean, my uh, calculations show these can't be settlers. These humans must have lived here before we settled. So, we don't have any data. Hmm. So then maybe they just never left the planet. Oh. That's the logical conclusion, yes? I don't like that. That's literally the history of my planet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we, we were a colony ship right before all this bad stuff happened and the Union formed and everything like that, and we crashed on our world, and... We had a horrible time of it, like the worst colony ship disaster shit you could ever imagine. And then the Union shows up to force us back into everything. 
and it's just a whole thing where subjugation, they killed our god, whole thing. It's like, oh, well, maybe these people were here first. And it's like, huh, don't like that. Yes, that will probably happen here again, and it's your job to do that. It's not my job to do that. Well, I guess to make a better point of it, instead of communicating directly to us, they've chosen to start destroying villages. Well, it's their world. Entirely. It's theirs to do with as they please. Well, there's a whole extra world out there if they're just happy surviving here. What? Um, there's no reason to kill these people if they're just sitting here farming. They refuse to leave. They didn't make any demand. They just came in dressed as aliens. Well, maybe this is their demand. You know, you get uh, more... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, I'm thinking that as part of our plan, uh, Zero, for the meanwhile, can send out a uh, generalized message for the bandits, either on Radio Band or through other channels, uh, basically asking for the surrender of their leader. That their ruse is exposed, and that uh, any others that surrender will be treated fairly. Yeah. Nothing like an unconditional surrender to make your enemies come out of the woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we've probably just gone from a uh, military action to a, another Vietnam. Thank you. So, there's no reaction at all, so you don't know if you're... Your message was received, or just ignored. Okay. I can't, I mean, can't wait for the triple down, where it turns out that they were aliens pretending to be humans pretending to be aliens. <laughs> wearing a costume over their other costume. Uh. Oh. Alright, it looks like Cobra's attacking us. No, just check in the map, or <laughs> make sure yes, I got the right. Yeah. Cobra goes uh, out to the fields and tests his new weapon. Yeah. So yeah, I'm uh, uh, uh. Cobra. You're finished. Yes. Okay. Anything uh, else you want to do? Uh, anybody of you? Well, yeah. I guess at first I'll check up on the information I got about that guy to see if he was ever here. To see if it was ever here. No, uh, uh, yeah, like I said, you uh, got no information. He's not in the databases. He must have lived here before. There, uh, or his people must have lived here before. Here's the was, confusing uh, thing, then, that he has uh, information, though. He has standardized information for me to look up. <laughs> yeah, uh, 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 I. It's, then it's just it's all the in his future helmet, okay? Yeah, yeah. It's it's. Uh... Then it's the GM getting confused and giving you information you shouldn't have gotten, but he's not in the standard database. Right, anymore. but I mean, I am the hacker after all. If I hacked his system, yeah. it doesn't make sense. And then I got his information, and, his and then I've got the data plate. So even if they spoke a different language or something like that, I could still read. Yeah. Right. It's all the better. Doesn't matter what language you speak, I can hack it. <laughs> right. So. Alright. So, guess. sent out the message, uh, and I guess just to pass the time, I could just organize any basic militia patrols. Yeah, let's get the civilians killed. Good job. Yeah. I mean, if they're already here and in existence and doing their job, then it's just like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm here to help. Yeah, the militia is able to feel like two squads, and they also have day jobs, so the militia duty is just on top. So, yeah. Right, so they just stay where they are and then defend. Yeah, this they one's day job, mother and parent. Yeah. Let's send her out to the field, Zero. The, the militia is uh, to 30% uh, from the farmers, Guild, let's say, uh, no, not guild, from the build of uh, farmers, 30% from uh, hand, handy workers, uh, so craftsmen, engineers, stuff, and 30% the organizers, so managers, bureaucrats, so on, and 10% okay. is uh, mechanical sub -alterns. 
Uh, so, Patience. Uh, so what do you think? Would you prefer to have us, uh, stay here and react for their next attack? Or go out and continue to do our ambush plans? I don't suspect they'll be back for a short while, but they will be back eventually. Oh. Patience sings, looks, and sings, and looks, and sings, and, and uh, says, I, uh, I care for the safety of my people, so uh, stay here and protect them. All right. So we will go ahead and stay in town, get some drinks, stay rested, and be ready to roll out as soon as we get any signal. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. General uh, mutters something to Lesser in the lines of, <clears throat> it's not a military uh, NHP. Remember that. Right. I mean, I'm not too concerned with that facet of things. Still, still on the whole, patience is an NHP that has been hard booted so many times that it lost all its memories and just gave its memories back and it's still finding its place. Or, I mean, it's not finding its place. A shackled NHP is basically a slave. But I've given this slave its memories of being abused. How do you reconcile uh, having a slave uh, uh, NHP right with you? Uh, you mean uh, Yvenel? Yvenel is yes. my god. Yeah. Yeah, it's the right, right. Right. I've never hard booted Yvenel. Yvenel has been in existence since its original incarnation was around. It's a lesser form, it's like a demigod, if you will. It's a lesser form of itself, and it's been in existence learning and uh, everything since its original uh, casket was destroyed. It's one of the last surviving copies of itself. You know, Lesser, maybe you should just come downstairs with us and take a drink. You I... hang out with the, uh... With your mech there a little bit too much. My outfit recycles all my wastes. I don't actually need anything to re-enter. I'm in complete homeostasis in here. Right, but that but... doesn't sound like you're unwinding very well. What do you mean? You gotta like the flavor at least. It does sound like you do need a drink. No, if I need flavor, I just eat different flavors of fruit and it, you know, it changes the flavor of everything that passes through. You not heard this? I am fine. I have different priorities. I'm I'm just saying maybe you could have a little human companionship downstairs. A, I, first I want to ask is this an order and B I want to ask is this a trap? <laughs> no, this isn't an intervention. <laughs> We're going to get into a bar brawl. Well, it, it just no, sounds order. it just sounds like a trap. It's like, you really want to get somebody downstairs. It's like, no, really, something great's downstairs. Come on. Well, I mean, I'll save you a seat down at the bar if you ever do come downstairs. No, I've probably got, like... Now, now you got me imagining that I've got, like, five screens ahead in front of me, all with a different computer program talking. Like, um... Like, uh... Not Ghost yeah, in the you Shell. got your hacker cave set up in, like, your room in this tavern. You, you remember uh, Seely from uh, Neon Genesis, right? I remember, and the answer is not directly. Seely was the organization, and each one of them had a, like a different screen with just something <laughs> projected up on it. But it was all oh, voice communication only. Oh, oh, sorry. It's a German word, and I didn't recognize. I think it's actually a Jewish word. Not to keep yeah. going back to Jews, I'm just... Yeah, but... Because any, uh, Ghost in the... Not Ghost... I keep saying Ghost in the Shell. Uh, Neon Genesis, like yeah. Symbolism all over the yeah, place. Yeah, Jewish so. symbolism. Yeah, but... Uh, uh, old Yiddish uh, also shares uh, some uh, family ties with German. So that's uh, also true. It could be a Yiddish word. Oh, yeah, German for soul. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. What was the word used? Seely. S-E-E-L-E. 
cool. Also called a Seele in German, but yeah. So, uh, you have your farm. Uh, farm. Uh, too much farms around here. I keep talking. No, yeah, you have yeah, to drink and your talk. Right and 